My name is Ryan Anthony, and I'm an adventure photographer, and we're gonna do a top rope climbing instruction day here on the south shore of Oahu. Top roping is a great way to start climbing. I always climb with a partner. The climber is always secure to the belayer. So you'd maybe fall like a foot or two, but generally like you're always gonna be secure um, when climbing. I'm gonna be belaying Ryan today, uh, super stoked. We're gonna be setting up this dynamic line on a 30 foot top rope section. This is kind of all the gear you would need to do top rope climbing, a dynamic rope, harness, your climbing shoes, a helmet, a bunch of quick draws. Always have some water with you on the crag. If you are top roping, you can have like a lighter weight harness just because you won't be carrying too much gear. And then like a chalk bag is ideal just to keep the hands dry. Always want to do a safety knot at the end of your rope. And so you'd go around your hand twice and through the hole there. When you know you've done it right, there's like an equal sign and then like an X on one side. For the climber side of the rope, you always want to tie into a figure eight knot. But at arm's length, uh, make the snowman, give him a scarf, and then a carrot. I like that one. <laughs> We're going to be using a Grigri today. It has an auto-locking component. So if you, your Blair ever becomes unconscious, this will still lock and still save the climber. So make this U with your hand here. And we're gonna feed it in just like that, in that U-shaped form. And you know you've done it right when the person climbing is climbing up the rope. And you're gonna put it on your belay loop. Then it's also really important to lock your carabiner. So we can check each other really yeah. quick. Um, your harness is tight, tight, tight. I'd pull on this rope, which is the one hanging to me. Uh, make sure that auto locks, and then just check that that's locked there. So there are a few commands that climbers uh, do need to know on belay. Belay on. And that just means that the belayer has the climber on belay. When we want to start climbing, we'd go climbing. Climb on. If the climber wants to take in some slack, the climber would say, okay, you can take. The belayer would say, God or got you. And that just signifies to the climber that um, you can relax, you can sit on the rope, the belayer has your weight. Okay, ready to lower. Lowering. Thank you. Good stuff. Dude, thanks, dude. So if I was climbing and this hold is pretty flat, this hold is not as good as like this one. All the energy is going downwards, so it's a much better hold. And I can put a lot of weight on that. Like you can see, like there's pockets. Like that is cool, like you can hang on there for ages. Hanging off a large wall is like definitely something you build up towards. And I find that the more you do it, the more you get used to the exposure of uh, being so high up and kind of nothing under your feet. It's super cool. Pretty scary, but yeah, it's cool. Being able to climb with an ocean view behind me is so surreal. Because it's so vast, I think it's just like this really cool perspective of, of how small I really am. And I think like the good company helps um, with any kind of activity, which is nice. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> I'm Ryan and this is how I go. You can take. Yep. <laughs>